seems official SummerSlam is going to be this year's WrestleMania, even though we already had WrestleMania this year. Don't worry about it. Don't overthink. It will hurt your brain. Put the blame onto them pandemic. But yes, the hottest show of the summer is set to be massive. Given that Stephanie McMahon backed this up too when she guaranteed the McMahon favorite word that there were going to be surprises come August, well, I think being the good wrestling fans that we are, we should take a step back and try and predict them. Things like Ronda Rousey and The Rock don't seem very obvious because Ronda Rousey is pregnant at the moment and The Rock's probably only going to come back when he can get the heat going with Roman Reigns. And everyone's saying that could happen at Survivor Series. Although if he did turn up in Las Vegas, I actually wouldn't be that surprised. That made it sound like I know something. I don't have a clue. They are the kind of obvious ones though, so let's have a little bit more fun with it and try and go outside the box. And here is why these five surprises could happen at SummerSlam 2021. Doesn't really work with my catchphrase, so I will just go, here's why, because I'm an idiot, and let's go. In at five is the one that has done the rounds, but I don't think we're all appreciating how big this could be, which is that our main event for SummerSlam 2021 is more than likely going to be Roman Reigns taking on a returning, here he is, John Cena. Forget the fact that fans will be back for this, so may even treat John Cena like a returning hero. Roman Reigns in this kind of environment gets me excited down in my toes. Because this isn't the Rome from 2017, where to stand there like a goof as John Cena just went pow, 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 and threw promo bullets at him. This is the tribal chief. This is the head of the table. He's not going to take no squit from a man that can't be seen. And I actually think this could be like when The Rock and John Cena went toe to toe. And it's actually Roman Reigns who gets the better of John Cena. This is the world I want to live in. Let's not pretend this isn't worthy of the spot either. When John Cena did leave to go to Hollywood, WWE house show numbers went down. And if you go across the entire roster, who's more important and who's smashing it more often than flipping Roman Reigns? The answer is no one. So if you were trying to pull a money-making belt out your ass, this has got to be the one. And also, Roman surely has to win because John Cena will have a bunch of TV shows and movies to make. So he come in, he does his thing, and then he's off again. It also allows Roman to come out on the following SmackDown and just go, ha, 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 I am the evil end of level boss and nobody can beat me. And that's just the kind of wrestling television I want right now because I'm a sick, 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 sick man. So what comes in at number four? Well, I'm going out on a limb here the return of Becky Lynch. Now, there has been some stupid rumors out there recently that she may retire on top like a rock star, but don't put any credence to that because also what rock star retires on top? I know you can find some examples like the Beatles, but look at the Rolling Stones. Life is actually gonna have to intervene before they go away, then there's Metallica. I'm not gonna do it here. People love the rock and roll lifestyle and they try and stay in it for as long as they can. Also though, there's more confirmed murmurings that she was seen at the PC recently and she has been training in the ring. And why would she be doing that? Because she wants to come back to WWE. Now a lot of people are saying you should bring her back at Money in the Bank so you can promote her and use her for SummerSlam. But WWE apparently has already sold a bunch of tickets for their August show. So if you don't really need to have any kind of extra attraction, wouldn't it be better to have like 50,000 people or whatever the hell they're gonna have in that place erupt when Becky Lynch finally does come out? I want that, I need it in my life because the return surprise pop is the best thing about sports entertainment. I mean, this could even be like the Hardy Boys when they came back at WrestleMania in the sense it steals the show and she should glare down at Rhea Ripley and they should go into a program and hopefully it gives the women's division the kick up the ass that it needs. WWE hasn't really been treating it right recently, but this would be a great catalyst to get it back on track. Thirdly, or three, and this one's a little bit more obscure because we don't know what he wants to do. If we are this close to doing Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE title at SummerSlam, and we don't go get our Brock bag of cash and throw it at the man, then I don't know what's real anymore. And I don't care if this is a one and done. I don't care if he gets paid a fortune to be there. It's not my finances. But Brock Lesnar is a massive name, and given that Bobby Lashley has been asking for this for years, well, now's the time to flip and do it. For starters, it does just feel massive, and even if Brock goes, well, I'm only gonna come back to win, which I doubt he would, do you know what this opens up the door for? You can then go back to Drew McIntyre and Brock Lesnar for the WWE title, and they deserve that, whatever that means. But they had to have their big WrestleMania match in front of literally nobody other than the camera people. So I would like to see it play out with some fans going, yeah, come on, you can do it. Look at the card we're building here as well. John versus Roman, Bob versus Brock. That certainly makes me go, well, I make sure I book that day off work, even though it's a Saturday, because I need to see it, which moves us right into number two. Let's keep those returns coming and bring back the feed. 
Now, nobody really knows what's going on with Bray Wyatt, but no, he doesn't have backstage heat and he's not being kept off TV as a punishment, but it has been very curious about why we haven't seen him in so long. And do not forget too that Wyatt still is a big deal, even though he has been booked into the ground on the occasion. Anytime he does make an appearance, especially after this long, People are gonna go crazy, that's just what people do. And I know this, because I'm said person. And it would be especially good if he was teamed up with the right person. Now I don't know who that could be, but even if you chose someone like a Cesaro, would I be all right with a Bray Wyatt or the Fiend or whatever the hell he's gonna become match against a Swiss Superman? Well, my answer is yes, and I can't even tell you why. I get that could be potentially be a death knell for Cesaro, but at the same time, it would keep him at a good place on the card. And this is what I hope and dream for. And once more, you may be going, but Simon, this is a lot of big returns. Why the hell would we keep them for one show? Because we can. If you are treating this like a WrestleMania and you're going to have 30, 40, 50,000 people in there, I think you should pull out all the stops, or just one stop or two stops, all the stops, so that hopefully when you get to Raw, people are like, well, I better tune in for that. And then people go, oh, SmackDown, I better tune in for that too. And if you can keep them there and you can get the product where it feels a little bit hot, well, hey ho, we just did our job and we did it because we got all our balls and threw them into SummerSlam. And our final surprise kind of matches this as well for all those reasons I've just said, but also one other very important one. Now, I don't think he's gonna have a match. He's not gonna wrestle anybody. He's not gonna get into any kind of a feud. But given that The Undertaker had to say goodbye to the WWE Universe in front of a bunch of LED screens, well, I don't think it's the last time we have seen the dead man on our WWE product. If he does make an appearance, once more, not only are you going to get a thunderous response from the audience, but you're going to get all the social medias, and you're going to get all the gifts, and you're going to get all the news headlines. Even if he just goes bong, walks to the ring, ha, kapow, put the lights on, oh, bye, I'm going again, bong, and he walks back again, because people love all that. They love all the hullabaloo. And sure, you could hold this one off to Survivor Series to tie into his debut and everything like that, especially because the rumor is that Survivor Series may be in New York, but this ruins my plan of turning SummerSlam into one of the biggest pay-per-views WWE has done in years. I mean, we're trying to re-energize and refocus our creative, so why not bring back a bunch of legends as long as it doesn't take the shine off anybody else? That to me just seems really smart, especially because WWE is just obsessed with nostalgia. But yeah, just don't put him in the ring proper and then no one's gonna be mad. Although he probably could choke slam somebody like Jackson Riker. You find me one person out there who go, I can't believe we did that to Jackson Riker. There wouldn't be anyone and he could do it to Elias too, so there you go. They could be having a match. Out come The Undertaker, Chokeslam 1, Chokeslam 2. Fans are like, oh, I'm having the best time of my life. I'm going to watch Raw and SmackDown. I give all my money to WWE. And everybody is as pleased as Punch. And even if only a few of these happened, I would be pretty cool. I mean, say we've got the Roman Reigns versus John Cena main event. Awesome. And then Bray Wyatt and Becky Lynch comes back. That would give us loads to discuss and loads to argue about because that's what we do on the internet. There's all these rumors, like I say, speculating that, oh, Vince McMahon knows the product is cold and it's time to go all guns are blazing, then go all guns are blazing. None of this, oh, we've just called someone up from NXT. They have to lose to teach them a lesson. No, have them win every single match so we know they're a badass. And when it comes to SummerSlam, do that with your damn card. Don't know why I'm getting so mad about this. I don't even care. You do what you do. I just want to be excited again. I think this is the way to do it. Now, more importantly, make sure you leave us a comment below and let us know what do you want from SummerSlam? What surprises do you want? What matches do you want? And if we do get Roman Reigns versus John Cena for the Universal title, who should win? And if any of you see John Cena, I'm going to find you, make you a cup of tea and have a discussion because I'd really be intrigued. Then make sure you like the video, share the video and subscribe. Head over to whatculture.com where you can stay up to date with everything with SummerSlam. And you can find us on social media and come and say hello. And we have a bunch of other videos here on What Culture Wrestling. I implore you to give one a click. I know at least one of them will float your boat. My name is Simon for What Culture. Thank you for tuning in as always. And look, even if I'm wrong with all of these, although I'm not wrong about John Cena versus Roman Reigns because I'm convinced of it, at least I put myself out there and gave it a shot. This means I'd be a bigger disappointment, but I already am. I have been for 30 years, and it's just going to get worse from here. Life's a funny old beast. I'll see you soon.